Hey everybody, I'm Roydan Studios, and we are finally back with the tutorial making process that's not Pixar related. Uh, if you can remember, uh, this is actually a platformer series. We kind of paused our RPG series for a while because that's, uh, I wouldn't say, it's like more advanced and I feel like some of you aren't really there yet. But uh, anyways, uh, today we are covering tiles, and I think if we have enough time we'll, we'll actually put a jumping slash falling animation for our character here. And Yeah, so this is what we have so far. All we have is basically jumping and moving left and right, uh, and gravity as well. But as you can see our world looks really boring with just our character and then this crappy world basically so let's uh, get into the tile making process so I added a background called background zero let's just make, rename it uh, tile set uh, underscore one because we might add more later on and we can't use this as it is now so if you go over here to where it says uh, use as tile set click that and you can see it says tile width tile height you can change this to however you want. Uh, this is 16 by 16, so we're good with that. And press OK. And if we go to our objects, go to OBJ Solid. Uh, if we check in our room, that's this block right here. If we go ahead and uncheck uh, Visible, but if we run the game, we won't actually be able to see this. So let's go ahead and add our tiles in. Uh, select that. Let's down here where it says like layer like a million let's change that to a hundred just because we don't actually need a million tiles actually let's do that so negative one hundred uh, no let's do this one hundred yeah all right and let us actually we can't actually see the tiles so let's over here in our obj solid or as sprite solid my bad we go ahead and re erase all of this, actually, just do that. Uh, select block again. Now let's set the opacity to say 100. Maybe. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so now it's a little bit opaque and we can, or transparent, so we can actually see what we're doing. Set the tile set again. And wow, I think I made this too small. That's fine. Gives us a bit more control. And if you want to make, oh sorry, let me set this to 16 by 16. All right, so this isn't that much of a lengthy process, but if you want to speed it up, uh, if you hold Shift instead of doing this, like clicking it individually, you can just drag. Uh, it's, it's if you hold Shift though. So if you're one of those people without a Shift for some reason, uh, you have bad luck. Or you probably just change down this options, but that's fine. Alright, so we have most of our blocks. <coughs> Let's do that. And it seems that we may have forgotten a block or two. So let's jump back into our tile set here. And we don't actually have to jump into Pixel Edit to do this, uh, which is the program we used last time to make this. Uh, if we just drag this, uh, copy and paste it, uh, it's, we can kind of edit it, but not at the, like we can't use any of the tools that we showed last time. That's fine. Alright, we're just adding a border, just, just the sides this time, so we can actually get sides on our vertical objects. That's ten to hundred, and these are the new tiles. All right. All 
Alright, so it, it may look a little bit darker since we do have, uh, if I go ahead and remove this, you can see it, uh, the solid changes the color a lot. Uh, but that's completely fine. Uh, it's better than having a transparent object that you can't actually see. Uh, you could, I would recommend changing the opacity to like 50 or something. Uh, so if we go ahead and run the game. You can see our beautiful new tiles, which don't really match the world or our character that much at least, but it gets the job done uh, for tiles anyways. Uh, actually, scratch that. It does actually match our character a little. Uh, it reminds me a lot of Kirby. Not really. Uh, so since we have a lot of time, let's actually add uh, a jumping and falling animation. So SBR underscore player underscore jump. Alright, so SBR underscore player underscore jump. And then we go into our walk, edit sprite. And let's get our idle animation, which is this one. Uh, copy and paste, or copy and paste into here. And let's move him a bit upward. Let's get these up a little bit. That is, what is that? It's like the two gaps, that's four. Try to get him into, into like a pose where his feet are up, sort of. Uh, that's not how I hit, did I? Oh, right there. And put the outline. And that's our jumping animation. No, actually, we're not finished yet. Almost there. If we go ahead and erase all of this. Uh, actually, we need that. Okay, now if we erase it. And we do... Kind of like the same circle shape, sort of. So, one, two, three, four. Alright. Alright, not too shabby. But you need to finish the outline again. Awesome. So we got our jumping animation. And it looks actually that's uh not very good at this apparently. Smooth his eyes up so he looks like he's uh staring up sort of. All right, yep. Uh, we actually need to move them back down. Make sure make sure you don't actually like leave any space behind or at the bottom because it's going to screw up with the uh, centering of the sprite. Actually, what are, yeah, we're at 16, 16. And if we duplicate this sprite, duplicate sprite, uh, SPR underscore player underscore fall, Edit sprite. Move them back up just for editing. Uh, control shift A. No, that does not work. All right, there we go. Let's move his eyes down this time. So let's see, he's uh, staring down. And you might want to like make his eyes a bit smaller. Like that. I'm not making too much of a different sprite because I mean some of you aren't going to really actually none of you should be using well you guys should be like making your own sprites for this uh, I'm just kind of giving you a, a general direction of how to apply the sprites because uh, if you start using like pre-made sprites, you'll never get into like 
actually making your own sort of like if that makes a lot if that makes any sense uh, it's kind of like it's kind of like drag and drop I guess with game maker if you keep using drag and drop you'll never get into the code because uh, what I recommend is don't just skip the drag and drop because then you can like like start learning the code early and then you're not spoiled by the drag and drop which will you know fill up this stuff but you know if, if drag and drops your thing then you know use it for all means or by all means I'm not telling you what to do I'm just you know just my general opinion uh, let's increase the font alright so here's our following sprite so if you can remember in our last tutorial I think yeah our first this is the second tutorial so our last tutorial we did movement and jumping slash gravity so uh, if you haven't watched that please do so so sprite underscore index equals SPR underscore player so SPR underscore player underscore fall and then right here jumping sprite so sprite underscore index equals SPR underscore player underscore jump and yeah and if we hit OK, run the game. Alright, so that was kind of a glitch. Wait, what? Oh, I think our collision mask isn't set. Let's. Unless we didn't have a different one. Five ten twenty six thirty one five ten six thirty one. Uh, that should be good. Oh, I think we may have moved him. 510. 510. Alright, so that's there. 525. 525. 526, that's the right. It's fine though. Let's go in our room, and instead of putting him there, let's actually put him down on the ground. I have no idea why he does that. I think I might have an idea. Let's OJ solid. V speed equals zero. If v-speed is less than or equal to zero, let's do 0.5, because that might be the problem. It's it's trying to get the variable, or uh, like, since we're like one pixel off the ground, it's trying to get that, but it's, uh, it's it doesn't even work. It's not like it's a it's like a visual glitch that's weird oh that's why our idle animation isn't set my bad sprite underscore index equals SPR underscore player underscore walk our uh, 
our idle animation is in our walk animation, it's the first frame. So that should have fixed it. Uh, I com can't believe I completely forgot about that. Yep. So we get grounded. And we can jump around freely. It reminds me a lot about Kirby, which is kind of the style I was trying to go for. Okay, we can't double jump, which is good. Alright, sweet. So that's it for today, guys. Uh, keep in touch for Tuesday's pixel art tutorial. Uh, and then next Friday's like game maker tutorial. What I'm trying to do is basically make a pixel art tutorial and then make a game maker tutorial that's related off that pixel art, if that makes any sense. So, uh, thank you guys for watching again, and goodbye.